Welcome back to Timberborn. So, if you remember, recently we were leveling everywhere out. That's why we kind of left it. We've not been doing too badly, really. Some stuff is still up. And this stuff is what we're going to be changing today. So, this is all things that require power. Let me just guide you through what's been happening. So, we've made the river wider. And I've kind of put this weird little bank on it. Just for the fact that it overflows sometimes. I did try and put dynamite in here to go down. But it won't let me blow the dynamite up. It tells me that the level is too low. That riverbed is the lowest that it can actually go. Which is quite disappointing because I wanted to make it deeper. But today we're going to try and finish off the rest of it, which is everything that you see powered. Looking at the current path of the district, we can't really go much over to the left, despite the fact the actual border of the district does go out there. We're going to fill this up with all of our power. We're going to get a load of windmills and we'll get them out here and we'll try, try and keep them kind of this way, just so that we can get behind them then. So we'll do this and then we'll bring them back this way. Put a T piece here. So that'll give our workers something to do. Do. And then we're going to look at bringing all of the actual powered buildings in. So we're going to need all of the wood stuff. So what have we got? We've got the lumber mill, we've got the gear shop, and we've got the paper mill. And we've also got explosives currently on the run. And there's a little bit of a balance here in terms of production, I guess. So one lumber mill will produce one plank in every 1.3 hours. Gears use one plank to produce one cog in six hours. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to get rid of all of this so I can bring this land down here. So what we need to get rid of is all of this stuff so we're gonna do windmill Ooh, everything all right gonna bring all of this out of here all of this out of here and then we're just gonna well we're gonna dynamite it really so while we currently keep setting out the dynamite so we've got one big area to explode over here at the wind malarkey we're starting to make some headway on getting some power through so we've got this little notch coming through here which means we can start connecting up buildings i prioritize the corner first get that done and then we'll start putting lumber mills all down the edge here. We'll only have a couple. Okay, good. So while these are currently up and running now, this is where we're going to get a lumber mill. And we're going to plonk. And hopefully, if we run a path in, then we go to the district center, grab the district center. Yes, that's what we're looking for. So they can now be run completely and utterly within the reach. The good news is we've now got our three lumber mills. The bad news is they're currently unpowered. But with that information, we are going to remove all of our current lumber mills and send our beavers home. Because then this frees up more land that we can also knock down. Because we like to get everything on a level. Now that we've got a plank spin set up, we'll go for gears, and gears are going to be quite a lot. But in the gears shop, you produce one gear every six hours from one plank, but you produce one plank every 1.3 hours. So for every one gear you produce, you're producing quite a few planks. So we'll need more gear shops than we have plank. So while we're currently sitting at one gear shop, we'll go two gear shops, three gear shops will fit in there and then we might squeeze a couple more on this side so we'll squeeze in there and in there so we've got five gear shops going in so that is five gears every six hours so now we're starting up some gear production it doesn't mean that we can shut these down or at least pause them for now because if i start shutting this down it's going to affect these and we can't really be affecting the bakery and the grindsmiths just yet but i do need to look at getting some actual power wheels in here now now that we've taken up all the space that we have done with what we wanted to i'm feeling if we split these things nicely so we'll stagger these so we can at least have three going on and then we also need to link everything up a t piece in here make that high priority so it doesn't end up boxed in then we're going to come out of these guys and what we want here is this to be here this to be here and this to be here to bring it all this way and then i think if we go for a t there so we'll take this path out because we don't need it and then we'll just connect everything up pretty straightforwards just in here like so, which would then mean we should have some beaver power. So then on this side, we're going to have paper. Now, paper takes logs. Of course, these would be this way around, wouldn't they? But we'll fit four in there nicely. So four should be ample. And then we're going to work out how we're going to link all of these up. So we got four in there. What other buildings do we have? I could sort of do a couple of these. If I do three explosive factories in there. Oh, that one might be too far away. We should be good. We'll have another look. It's too far away at the minute, but looking at this, we'll go for a big old explosion so we can bring the path in closer. Nice. And then we can run a path in. Looking at that, we might get away. If we put a path there, because it'll bring everything slightly closer this way. 
There you go. So we've now got that left down there, which lets us get in the explosive factory. Then in the interest of it all, what we're going to do is go to food and we'll plonk a grindsmiths in there. And the grindsmiths do wheat to flour, cattle flour. So we can do two, do that for wheat, bring our path down, hoping that we're still good, still within the range. We are perfect, just, and then we can bring the power around the corner so everything's hooked up. Perfect. So when it comes to food bakery, your bakery does a few different things. So what I'm trying to do at the minute is keep all my food close as well. So we're over here with the grills. We might as well put the bakeries down here as well. Three for now. Bakery number one is going to do bread. Bakery number two is going to do cattail crackers. Bakery number... Yeah, so what? We'll do two doing bread. We don't have much cattail flour. We don't have much cattail root, but we've got a lot of flour. So if we get two doing bread, that's going to open us up wonderfully. And then we've got food nice and close to the warehouses and pretty much all the houses as well. So as everybody's going backwards and forwards through the day and the night, they'll be able to run past the food and get the goodies that they need. But let's also unlock the old beaver statue. I think a beaver statue will be very, very good to have around. So a statue for everybody else increases their working speed. So again, if we put this within a range somewhere, I feel it'd be good to have it on a rooftop. So we'll put him up here and he'll affect a lot of the houses. We can start getting rid of things. Get rid of the paper building. In fact, we can get rid of both the paper buildings and the dynamites factory. But we can start removing some of these because they're not much use to us anymore. So we'll free up the land over here and make it look a little bit prettier. We're going to get some more power wheels in here because I know the hardest thing with the folk tales is when there's no wind and you kind of get stuffed because when there's no wind and the water drops off, you have no power production. It makes things real tricky. A little bit of organization. I know it might not seem like much to you guys, but it's actually making me feel a little bit bad. Oh my God, we've only got one gear. That's mad. So gear production is something that we do really lack in. So what are we doing? Well, we've got five of them. So we're doing five every six hours. Think about how much you're spending. Five every six hours is crazy. In fact, with there being that much flour, it'd be nice to get a couple of grindsmiths going on here, just so that we can actually get somewhere with it. I want to be able to sneak a path in somewhere. So in order to do that, we're going to have to go up a level. So this is going to have to go up, delete this, and this is going to have to go up. We need to get through here with a nice little one up one over saw the situation going on and then we can connect all the paths up now the path is a bit of a wonky one but that doesn't really matter to me there we go straight through like that jolly good so all the food is finished being built so that's handy for us so that means we're going to get a better constant supply of food coming in again and i've tried to get it closer to the warehouse whether or not it makes too much difference but at least if i can get food stuffs closer to warehouse stuffs then give me some sort of balance between raw resources going into the various places and then food stuffs going out and back into the warehouse obviously there's a bit of a trade-off when things like the bakery for example it takes one flour to make five bread you do what you can do with what you can work with so I've just done some quick crunching of numbers and the gears to the planks ratio works out that you need pretty much five gear workshops to every one lumber mill in order to pretty much put output a one-to-one. -one. So we've got three planks and we've got five, which means we've got plenty of room for more gear workshops. And I'm feeling we could really want to plunk it onto the back of the paper mill because gears, gears are something that we, when you start building, they just run out. So we will put a couple more in and see where we end up. So we're looking at almost enough for the two so that we'll get some planks spare. We've got to be careful because obviously we're going to need planks in general as well. And we don't want to give ourselves a situation where we are just simply turning planks into gears. So you know what, what I'm going to do? It's going to build two more. So we've got seven. So there is a little bit more than it takes up just one. So it's like one and a bit. I convinced myself that that's a good idea. So that's where we'll be. Here we go. Right, so other than having a worker shortage, I think we're good. I think we are good. Everywhere's got sort of what they need. Input is looking good. We do with a bit more. This is all finished up here. Yeah. Yeah. So let's unlock one explosives and a couple of the papers. How many workers we've got? I reckon we've got 10 workers here. So that'll be handy for us. We're going to have enough room for all of them. Get somebody in the wheel. Here we go. Nice. We do look like we're in control a little bit now. We're looking okay. This is going to up the production somewhat more. And then what else is there left to do? That's it really, isn't it? I suppose. How does the workshop look? Long ways would do. And what is it? Three hours for one plank and one sap. So I think I'll build me one of them. We'll squeeze him in here. He's got plenty to go at. So if we just put him in there, he can do his thing as and when. There's no massive rush for him because we very, very rarely, at the minute anyway, use the treated planks. 
so it can just tick some over over the time and if we get some storage we can put a little bit of a balance on the storage to say accept the raw material yeah, it might work so let's go for some big storage let's put one here for now so in here we just need the raw materials all right so let's have a look what do we want here we want the root and we want the flower planks i guess and paper right so with all of those stuff what else could we take on we want to take pine resin yes we want to take gears in yeah we might as well at least the gears are here then i think that's what it works out to be like so then over here in one of these we want all the food stuff, don't we? So we want the flowers, crackers, breads. Oh, it's going to be all the food stuff. But that has allowed us a little bit of organization. So this is like a little industrial district. It's tiny at the minute, but realistically, I don't need anything massive because I've been working on this stuff throughout the whole playthrough. We do have some good numbers other than gears. Gears seem to be dropping off. But now we have this little bit of an area that we can expand if needs be. We might look at bringing water in. We'll have to keep our eye on the power, see how much it gets affected. But at the minute even the little bit the river next to us isn't moving so all we'd end up doing is just blasting a route through the water to go through but as this isn't flowing it doesn't seem like there'd be much point anyway but yeah we've got a little bit of balance going on with the storage now hopefully we've got a little bit more industrial going on and we've nearly completely leveled the little ground that we've got around us so that is in my opinion is feeling better might not be looking better for you guys but i'm being a little bit more better about it anyway thank you very much for watching guys hope to see you again next time take it easy bye for now bye everybody